January 23. The eyes have it. Job chapter 31 verse 1. I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I look upon a young woman? Millie Dinert worked with the Billy Graham evangelistic team for 40 years. She commented, I have always appreciated from a moral point of view how the men have been in their attitude toward the secretaries. The doors are always left open. They have always kept everything about reproach. When you're working on a long-term basis with the same person, constantly in hotels where the wife is not there and the secretary is, that is a highly explosive situation. You have to take precautions. I have always respected the way they have handled that. Job also desired to live a chaste life. Even though he was a married man, he knew how easy it would be to slip. And it all begins with a look. Perhaps at first it is nothing more than just a casual glance, but then comes a lingering stare. Before long, the look becomes something more. Therefore, Job made a covenant with his eyes where it all begins. He knew that if nothing was started, he wouldn't have to worry about where it would go. Christians need to remember that immorality begins with the eyes, where people look, how long they look, and what they allow to be communicated through their eyes are all factors that can bring about a fall. What we allow to come in through the eye gate makes or breaks our Christian testimony. If we set up a roadblock at the source of our temptation, we can ensure that our witness for the Lord will remain untainted. Begin with the eyes. You can't help the first look, but you are definitely responsible for every look thereafter. Close that gates as soon as you can. Make a covenant with yourself and the Lord that you will not allow your eyes to be your downfall. Guard your eyes and the rest of your behavior will be easier to control. Wrong looks lead to wrong behavior. Amen.